Hey everybody, this is Charles Calhoun, AKA The Shade Tree Pro. Now something I'm gonna t talk to you about here today um, is the difference between primary information and secondary information. And one of the biggest problems that I, I, I see in golf instruction in itself is too much time is focused on secondary information. And what I mean is by secondary information, and you all know, my, listen to me talk about my top-down philosophy in a sense. As I said right here, if you raise your arms and you turn your hips and everything, nothing's gonna bring your arms down. Nothing in this lower body is gonna bring your arms down. And the only way that you can strike the golf ball is you gotta get the club up and you gotta bring it back down to strike the ball. Well, getting the club up and bringing it back down, that in itself is a primary. That must happen. That is non-negotiable. We need to have that to occur. I don't need to spin my hips to hit a golf ball, but I do need to swing this club up, swing it down, and get it back there. Now, the one thing about swinging a golf club is making sure you have that golf club, you know, what we say, on a proper plane to strike the club, or, I mean, to strike the ball. We all talk about it. But the thing is that I'm saying, you know, you hear, you know, you want your inside out path, your outside path, all these different paths or whatever. But let me tell you, people, the path is as simple as what, and, and the primary simplicity of the swing path in itself is just what your body tells you to do. And the only true swing path, the only true swing path that is primary is the club is always on the outside, it comes to the inside, and it exited on the outside. The only time you are swinging inside out is from impact to the finish, because that club is coming from the inside, here's the inside, and then we're going to the outside. Not relation of where you're coming into the ball. I think that's a mistake. It's not the relation to you coming into the ball or outside. To get that club to continuously swing on the proper path that it needs to, or the plane to strike it, then you need to know where the club is. If you're driving a car or something, you know there's a reason we have roads, so you know exactly where you're going. You get directional information to tell you where you're going. If you're driving all over the place, and, and, and you I mean you end up driving in circles, you know. And so we got to be very, very careful about how we think and how we see things. For an example. If I stand right here, you all have heard me talk about the shoulder girdle. You all have heard me talk about the top down. Now, if I stand right here, my arms are automatically outside of my body. This is the outsides of my body. So when I make a back swing right here, no matter if I got it over here, no matter if I got it up here, this club anatomically, primary, is on the outside of my body. And when I bring my hands down, it's on the inside of my body, and when I finish, it's on the outside of my body. That's another one of those primary non-negotiables. That's why you have to see things in their most simplest form. So when I'm sitting here, and as you golfers, you know, that struggle so much, that can't even take the club away, well, I just gave you two, two exceptional things. Number one, when you're making a backswing, the club's got to get up. Number two, when you're making the back swing, in essence, it's already going outside. There's no question. So now when you're sitting here and you know you got it up and you got it outside, in a sense, now, you know, you're gonna put it anywhere you, you mean, where you put it here and there, it's just where you train it to do. Like if I was going to reach up and get a can off the shelf, I just turn and reach and get it on the shelf. Take it off the shelf and bring it back down. I'm not doing nothing fancy to get the club up or put it where I want. So. When I take this club, I'm automatically taking it outside, bringing it back inside, and finishing outside. That don't even, that doesn't matter, even if I'm chipping, I'm taking it outside, not outside in relation to the ball and all of that stuff, outside in relation to anything. If I remove the ball and took it here, now I can't make it inside or outside in relation to the ball because the ball's not there. So I gotta remake it re in relation to what my hands and arms is doing. Right club is outside the body, inside, outside the finish. And it doesn't make a difference what shot you're hitting. It's always, that's why I told people, you know, we always got a little bit over the top of the swing because the club's in, I mean, the club is uh, is out, and then it comes in, 
and then it kind of goes, like I said, it goes back out. And that's a little, a little toss or whatever you get. But you get the club outside, bring it inside. Just let it go. Once again, get those out of your way there. Once again, remember, primary moves, always outside, always inside, always outside. That's non-negotiable because the arms are always on the outside. They have to come to the inside to strike the ball and then they exit on the outside. People, a lot of that is the simplicity of the Shade Tree Pro swing velocity and system top down. It's, it's just, I try to make it as simple and easy as I possibly can. Because as I said before, the arms are outside of the body. When you bring them together on the inside, when we make a swing, we take it up on the outside, bring it down on the inside, and we bring it back up on the outside. That's two primary actions that's non-negotiable that we've put together. Now you just gotta keep things in order and build your rhythm. Hey, this is Charles Calhoun, AKA The Shade Tree Pro. I'm the owner and director of, of Under The Shade Tree at the Marriott Grand Vista in Orlando, Florida. Hey, come see me. I got something good for you. Like I said, there's a lot of good things going on under the shade tree. And once again, always good golfing.